happening YouTube, this is Runner from bellatorgero.com Not arrogant, just better. Uh, just going to give my pre-fight predictions on UFC 119, Crocop um, versus Mia. Um, I'll start by rolling off some of the fights. Um, Melvin Goulart versus Jeremy Stevens. I think that um, both of these fighters are impressive. Um, Jeremy Stevens impressed me in his last fight with Sam Stout. But I think Melvin Goulart is going to take this fight by KO. Uh, Jeremy Stevens has never been knocked out, so should be interesting. Uh, moving on to the second fight uh, on the main card, which is Sean Shirk versus Evan Dunham. Um, Sean Shirk's been out for a while now, and his last fight was against Frank Yeager. Evan Dunham, undefeated fighter, very good ground game, and for some reason, I think... The ring rust from Sean Shirk, um, Evan Dunn is going to take his fight, probably by second round submission. I never really go against Sean Shirk when he fights, but I think Evan Dunham uh, still going to be undefeated, and he's going to take this fight nice and easy. Moving on to the welterweight division, Matt the Terra Sarah versus Chris Lights Out Lytle. Um, the first time these two guys fought, it was a very interesting fight, because it was in the ultimate fighter. Ultimate fighter number four final and Matt Serra won this to win the title this fight I see it going pretty much the same way but um, I think that Matt Serra will get the knockout even though uh, Chris Lyle's got a granite chin and never been knocked out technically I still see Matt Serra winning this fight by knockout probably in the third round so moving on to the co-main event um, Ryan Bader versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. Um, Noguera in his last fight, he definitely lost that fight against Blitz. No chance. I don't know how the decision, the judges saw it as Noguera win, but he won the fight and he's moving up. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Ryan Bader in his last fight against um, Keith Jardine. He gassed out after the second round and he got one of his big swinging punches where he caught Keith Jardine on the chin, which really isn't that hard to knock him out anymore because his chin ain't as good as it used to be. Um, this fight, I see... I think Ryan Bader could finish, finish this fight at any point, but I think Nogueri is a more technical striker. Ryan Bader really never likes to go to the ground. And I think Noguera has more places that he can win this fight from. I think his Jiu Jitsu is better. Ryan Bader has his wrestling. But I see this fight going to Noguera. And I think he's going to knock him out probably in the second round. And he's going to give Ryan Bader his first loss in the UFC. And moving on to the co. Uh, moving on to the main event, sorry. Uh, Frank Mir versus Mirko Krokop. Um, this fight does not make sense to me at all. Uh, Frank Mir versus Noguera would have made sense, but Noguera's had to pull out. But Mirko Krokop, I don't see why he's accepted to this to take this fight because his last fight against Pat Barry, Pat Barry should have won that fight really. To be honest, I think when he knocked him down twice in the first round, he should have jumped all over him and beat the shit out of him personally. But don't know. He just wanted to hug. Mako Krokop thinking he was too much of a his idol or something but anyway I don't see anywhere really except for if he gives Frank Mir um, a head kick that Krokop can win this fight Frank Mir is such such better on the ground um, he's just a bigger athlete and he's just a beast compared to Krokop, and I think Krokop's going to get bullied in this fight, he's going to get dominated in every single aspect of it, and I probably see Frank Mir pulling this fight out, probably in the second round, by submission, and he's just going to break um, Krokop down, because I think Krokop's not that, he ain't got a strong will, he ain't got the desire to keep winning, it's like when he fought... Um, Junior Dos Santos. Dos Santos broke him and Krokop could not fight back. 
and I think Frank Mir is going to take this fight, no dramas, and he's going to finish him in the second round by a submission. And yeah, I think this card's going to be okay, but the only fight I really want to see is Frank Mir because I want to see him come back and see how he handles his loss against Shane Carwin. Uh, yeah, nice quick shot uh, predictions. So that's me signing out, runner. Remember to check us out at bellatorgero.com. Custom fight gear and the best stuff on the market. So if you want some real good stuff, come see us. So this is me, runner, signing out. Peace.